Uh, OFD Foods is in the business of removing water from food, but we do it very specifically through the freeze drying process. We have our own brand, Mountain House and Easy Meal. In the Mountain House brand, we have 70% of the market share. We also do uh, military items under the Mountain House brand. We've been doing that since 1968, uh, taking care of our troops around the world. I saw an opportunity to get back to our roots, get back to what I felt was important for the company, and that was one is our people. Our people are our asset. Yes, we have a great technology, but that technology does not make food by itself. That's when I brought John Damon in. He understood what I wanted to, to make happen, and I gave him free reign to take our manufacturing and bring it back to what I had envisioned that we needed to be, and he's done a wonderful job on making that happen. Our philosophy isn't the traditional philosophy as the vice president's in charge, it's the opposite way, which is our employees are the most important people out here. The program is written for the employees on the floor and it gives them the information they need. It's not just a software company, it comes with a coach. Having somebody from the outside come in and reinforce it, but also teach it in a different way and different new and different concepts too. I coach them in how to basically do Kaizans and do continuous improvement, teaching teams how to think differently and have fun with it as they go. Just kind of help people come together. So all the, all the great things that come from improving always come from the people that are in the, in the Kaizen itself. I've been here for 33 years. I was like totally pessimistic. So I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I've been doing this for 20 some odd years. You're going to come in here and you know tell me how to do things? Really? I know what I'm doing. Then when the red zone showed up, it, it does have a lot of good things going for it. It was hard for somebody that's in maintenance because I don't see this every day. This is something they do. And, but uh, it was an eye opener to see how they their process goes. And it was kind of fun to help them come up with some different ideas. It was a good experience. I helped bring the team together to, to find better ways and, and just breaking down the barriers and making them laugh, have fun with it. Uh, let them know change is not bad. We can make a change. And if it doesn't work, we can change it again. And that's the thing about continuous improvement. I was a little hesitant and I, I kind of knew what to expect, but it was different than, than I thought. I think this kind of brings us closer together and it was awesome that we could work as a group towards a common goal. So some of the things we did to start our journey, we set up team meetings so our employees could be engaged and, and understand what, what we were trying to do. After the base settings, we gave them the metrics and we started recording, that's the red zone um, tools, the iPads. For a team to be successful and making change and making their processes better, we really have to have good leadership within the company to support that process and say, hey, yes, you have guys have a good idea. I'm gonna take and support you with that. So here we are, basically part of, the, part of a project is taking what we did on paper in the, in the room and putting it to a test. I think it's a good plan. I think the whole idea behind the first run anyways is to learn a lot. Uh, and I think that there will be several iterations and I think we'll get better every time, but they did due diligence. So I, I think this is a great place to start. I think it's pretty cool that we're going to reduce cleaning time. I'm very happy with the process that we came up with. It was surprising, all the wasted time. I, I think we really managed to work together as a team and, and we saw some of the things that you know were obstacles in the process that in the future we probably won't have. Uh, we had a ton of people that always have had pride in OFD and our Mountain House brand and so they were looking for ways to improve. There were things they wanted to fix and I think they liked it because they got an opportunity to fix their own problems. I think the biggest impact on Kaizen's is people understanding that they can take control of their lines, um, they can make decisions, they can make changes, and they don't need to ask permission. I, it, was, it was a big understanding for the team. It was like, especially when three or four teams get together and, and voice their opinion, I guess, on paper, and they, and they saw their opinion go somewhere. The Eggline team did a great job today. They reduced the uh, clean time by 50%. Really great result. You see the pride, I, you see the, an example would be the Ravima team. You see those guys driving their own process, not needing a supervisor, not me, needing me or a manager helping them to fix their problems. They're fixing their own problems. Since we started uh, doing Lean Six Sigma and going on this journey and using Red Zone, we've gotten 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. That's a huge um, improvement.